Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. I wanted to test out the GPIO ports on my new B+. Um, at first I wired up this breadboard with 26 LEDs of 26 resistors, but then when I started wiring it up to the Pi with all these wires, I realised that you just wouldn't be able to see anything because the wires would just get in the way. So I decided to skip that and use some LED boards that I've used previously in the compute module video. So here you've got uh, these boards, I'll show you these in close up in a minute, but basically you've got eight surface mount LEDs on each board. They're powered from the five volt lines and uh, triggered using uh, Darlington array chips. So let's have a little look behind the mess of wires. There really is a Raspberry Pi Model B Plus under there, honestly. Let's have a zoom in and show you to prove it. Can we prove it from this view? Yes we can, micro SD slot, power port facing that way. Okay, so what have we got here then? We've got uh, the Raspberry breakout board, which is really useful because I've used all four of the five volt um, connections in order to connect to each of the four LED boards. This useful board because it enables you to label the ports. Obviously this one was made for the Model B, it doesn't have the new ports on so I've made a paper version so that I can see what the rest of the ports are. You can see that just under here. So apart from that, each GPIO port has a wire which goes to one of the LEDs and controls it using the Darlington array on each board. So it's all controlled with a little Python script. Let's just quickly show you the script. It's not very long. It just uses lists. And I'll make that script available on Raspberry TV if you want to try it yourself. It's not very complicated. You might be wondering why these two LEDs are on. They're on because they are connected to the two I squared C ports, which are permanently pulled high unless you send them low. And because every time the script exits, it cleans up the ports to the state they were in, it, uh, they are basically, they're permanently on. But they will go off when we run the script, as you're about to see. So I'm going to run it now, and you should see some patterns. Firstly, it will test each of the ports to make sure they're all working. Only two are working on this board because obviously there's only 26 ports. I say only 26. The Model B had 17 usable GPIO pins. Model B Plus has 26, which is nine more. It's quite a big improvement. Each of these boards has eight LEDs, so I've only used the first two on this one. See, each of the ports is tested in turn, and then we start doing funny patterns. and then it stops and cleans up the ports. And that's all there is to it, really. All the ports on the Raspberry Pi B Plus are working just as they should. This was Alex Eames for raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.